How to upload NFTs from your phone to OpenSea. Easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can upload NFTs on OpenSea using your phone. So let's get into it. Now it's very simple to upload NFTs using your phone. You don't need to have any complex equipment or a laptop even to create and upload NFTs and it's very simple. So for this you need two things. First off you need to go into your app store or whatever store that you might have. So if you have the Google Play Store then you will go to the Google Play Store. If you have the application store go to the application store and simply search for OpenSea. So you're just going to download the OpenSea application over here. So this is the official OpenSea application. This is what you're supposed to download. And I have already downloaded this. The second thing that you have to do is you have to download a crypto wallet. Now, if you go on to OpenSea over here and you go on to profile, you can see you have three wallet options with mobile devices. You can choose your MetaMask wallet, or trust wallet, the rainbow wallet, or enter your Ethereum address. So you can copy any of your Ethereum based wallet addresses and enter those over here as well. However, I recommend for most people to simply set up their MetaMask wallet on their phone as well, because it is one of the most commonly used crypto wallets. So just install OpenSea. And then once you have done that, you're just going to install MetaMask as well. So you can see over here we have MetaMask and I have already installed this. So the first step is to open up MetaMask on your phone and you will see this is the MetaMask application and you will simply click on get started. Now if you already have a pre-existing MetaMask wallet then you can use it using you can import that using the secret recovery phrase. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet simply click on create a new wallet. Click on I agree enter a password for your wallet so once you've entered a password you can agree to the terms of service and you can choose whether or not you want to enable unlocking with face id now i'm going to click on create password and once you have created your password they will be creating your wallet and once you do that you will have your secret recovery phrase now I would not recommend to click on remind me later and then later on saving your secret recovery phrase simply because the secret recovery phrase is a phrase that would be used for you to get your wallet back. So you should take a screenshot of this or save it somewhere or write it down somewhere. Just make sure you have this somewhere written down or you've remembered it because it is a very, very, very essential part of your crypto wallet. So this is what is going to keep your entire wallet safe and make sure you are putting this somewhere where other people will not see it. Now, because this is a sample wallet, it really does not matter to me, but you can see these are all the terms and you need to make sure you write them down in this specific sequence as well. So after you do that, they will actually ask you to do the backup for this. So you will just have to enter all that information. And I am going to remind myself later and I will be doing this later. And once you do that, you can see that my crypto wallet or my MetaMask wallet has been created. So once your MetaMask wallet has been created, all you have to do now is you're going to open up OpenSea. And once you open up OpenSea, you're just going to go on to the home section. Then you can click on the profile section. And once you click on the profile section, click on MetaMask. And then this will open up the MetaMask application. You will click on connect. And this will log into your account or create your OpenSea account. Now, once you have done that, so once you have linked to your OpenSea account, you will simply go on ahead and you can click on created NFTs. You can actually see all the NFTs that you have. So now that we have linked our wallet, you can see our MetaMask wallet address is now on our OpenSea. So our wallet and our OpenSea account have been linked. Now you're going to go back into MetaMask. So you're just going to go into your MetaMask wallet and then you're going to click on NFTs over here. Once you click on NFTs, you're going to click on NFT detection. So you see this text block over here, the text in blue. You're going to click on turn on NFT detection in settings. So you're just going to turn this on. 
and you're going to enable auto detect for nfts as well as enable OpenSea api now once you have done that you're just going to go back into your wallet and you can click on import nfts and any of the nfts from your wallet address can be displayed over here and from here you can actually go on ahead and upload the rest of your nfts onto OpenSea as well so once you have connected OpenSea and MetaMask and you have enabled auto detection on MetaMask, so you can see I have auto detection on on MetaMask. Now what you're going to do is you can open up your browser and you will just search for OpenSea over here. And once you open it up in your browser, you can use any browser for this. And then you're just going to simply click on connect wallet, click on MetaMask over here. And this will actually open up the MetaMask application and a, a secured view. So just do that. And now once you do that, you can click on over here, click on connect wallet, and you're going to click on accept and sign to get your wallet connected. And this is basically the OpenSea application. It is a safe view within that. And now once you have linked your wallet over here, you can simply click on create from the top right. So if you click on these three buttons on the top right, this will open up the menu. And from here, you can simply click on create. And now you can select any image that you want to upload. So I can just click on this and I can say, let's say I want to upload, I want to take a photo or video. I can simply just take a photo and use that as a NFT or upload any photo or choose a file of my choice and then it's pretty much the same as it would be when you are uploading from your laptop so you're going to enter the name that you want for your nft and then you're going to add a description you can add the specific collection you want it to be in the properties levels all that information the blockchain that you want to be to upload your nft on and then you can even create multiple different collections and use OpenSea as you normally would on your actual laptop or pc so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an um, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video